In this video, we are going to talk about how do you work with the CloudWatch, a hands-on demo with the CloudWatch. And as we all know, CloudWatch is a monitoring service offered by Amazon, which is the primary function is to monitor all Amazon resources or Amazon services, which may include the Amazon EC2, EBS, or S3, or RDS, so many services over there. Now, in this video, we are going to see how would you work with the CloudWatch. So for that, we would be performing a few tasks. First task, you must be knowing that you must have launched an instance with the EC2. For just our example purpose, I have launched two instances as of now for the demo part. And along with that, I would be seeing, we would be seeing what is the status of the instance, how do you see the detailed monitoring of the instance, and what are the different metrics available with the CloudWatch, that all part we would be seeing over there. So let's go to our Amazon management console. I am in the Amazon management console. In the Amazon management console, you can see that we would have a EC2 as part of that. When I am going to see the EC2, it would show me two instances running. I can select any of the instance and inside the instance, when I go and click monitoring, it would show me the various monitoring aspect of that instance. So if I just click on one of the parameters like CPU utilization, you would see there was some CPU utilization and then there was a very null or there is some happening over there. So there is not much process happening over this instance. So you would see it's much lesser than the 1% CPU utilized. This is basic monitoring. So data is at every 5 minutes of the period. It can, you can see the time range. You want the last hour, last 3 hours, last one or even up to last 2 weeks. So this instance is launched today. You would not see much previous data available. So from the launching, this is the how the instance has behaved over the CPU part. We also check about the statistics and statistics would be like average, minimum, maximum, we would see. And we would be seeing all that again in the CloudWatch console. Why we have come here is, in the EC2, one thing we wanted to do is enable detailed monitoring. The detailed monitoring is a service which would allow to monitor your resources every minute. It's a chargeable service and not part of the free usage tier. So if you want to enable, you can enable it over there and it says clearly additional charges apply. The ba difference between detailed monitoring and basic monitoring is one works at every five minutes, one works at every one minute. Apart from that, everything else is same. If I want to check more resources, you can see it is having the more metrics like discrete, discrete operations, Disk writes, disk write operations, network in, network out, statistics check field, status check field instance, CPU usage, the CPU credit balance, and a few more. Now, this status check field instance and the status check field system, they are the two important aspects. This is what the status check all about. It's a two by two status checks pass. And then only we were planning to connect to the instance. We do not connect unless the status checks are passed. These status checks come from this section. You can see there are two kind of a status checks. One is a system and one is the instance status checks. The system status checks is verify whether your instance is reachable over the hardware or not. There may be infrastructure issue, Amazon power issue, networking, all that kind of issue it deals with. While instance status checks deals more with the instance the operating system and the file system corrupted or not and kind of a checks it would make. Once those two checks are passed by Amazon, instance is healthy and you can connect with the instance. These two checks are available at every minute and if one of the check fails, instance is not reachable. These two checks are also, though available every minute, are free of cost. Amazon does not charge you extra for that. So this is all about the how you would be monitoring services with the EC2 level. I will be going to the CloudWatch service. Let's go to the CloudWatch. I am clicking on the CloudWatch part. The CloudWatch as we know provides the various kind of a metrics and monitoring services. The key aspect of the CloudWatch was alarms. But let's first go and check the metrics part. The metrics shows currently how many metrics are available. So there are the EC instance metrics, EBS metrics, and the billing metrics. 
CloudWatch is very well used for the e billing monitoring also and we will see that also now if I just click on the EC2 matrix it would list down all the EC2 matrix what are the metrics available that's the CPU credit balance CPU credit usage utilization read operation write bytes write operation network in network out status check fail all that for the cloud watch and same 12 are available for the another instance too you know what you can even aggregate the data you can select the data here also very easily if I select the data if I select this data with the mouse I can zoom that section also on the right hand side what you see is a copy URL suppose you find some abnormality and you want to share this abnormality with your colleague you can just copy URL and give it to your colleague when he paste the URL and logs into Amazon he would be seeing the similar graph you can get the data based on the time range also so you want to say from four hours to three hours something like that you can specify that also it would refresh accordingly you can zoom from one hour three hours six hours up to two weeks of the data it would list you and when I click on the one hour it would be showing me that one more thing you can have multiple metrics on the single graph too see CPU credit status check failed network out you can have that if you want to see multiple graphs on the same page provided the metrics are same it would be also helpful for you so just take an example I want to see CPU utilization of this instance with my another instance I can do that you can see it would be having a two instance available one is having CPU utilization almost zero all the time the other is having some data but then it's also almost zero so this is how the things are working CloudWatch as we see you can download the metrics also using the CLIs and all that otherwise you watch from the console now let's set up an alarm what is an alarm whenever CloudWatch is going to cross certain threshold you can set up an alarm for that so either you can create an alarm since I have the two metrics available I select one and I can create alarm from the same here also or on the left hand side I click alarms and I can say create alarm here it would say what for which metrics are you trying to make I say EC2 metrics okay for EC2 I am saying CPU so I am going for CPU utilization for CloudWatch 2 okay now what do I want to do the alarm can be for the higher or the lower both the threshold you can set up that once you say when the CPU is lower utilized you want to get an alarm or CPU is higher utilized you can get want to get that alarm. I can say when CPU is less or equal to 2% for consecutive one period now what is a period here period is defined here on this right hand side you see period is whether it's a 1 minute period 5 minutes period 15 minutes period that means for consecutive if I say 2 period and here I defined 1 period equal to 1 minutes that minute for consecutive 2 minutes if the CPU utilization is 2 minutes or less than 2 percent it should take action as defined here or I can go and say when for 5 minutes so when consecutive for 10 minutes it is less than 10 percent 2 percent it would be then taking this action as below so here I can say when state is alarm what do you want to do I want to take two kind of an action one is a notification action where do I set the notification I say new list here I can say notify me and what's my email ID right so it would be sending an email over there I also want to take another action so whenever it's less than 2 percent for 2 minutes it would send an email to this email ID then I want to say oh I want to take an EC2 action too 
what is an easy to action whether I want to stop start what do I want to do with the instance I say terminate the instance I say I am okay it says it will create a following I am user I am say okay so I created two actions one action is when it notifies me through email second action when it automatically terminates the instance and I'll say create alarm it says check your inbox I say I'll do it later but immediately it went to the the state and it would be ideally it should immediately start terminating the instance too you can see it has started terminating one of the instance because it's in the alarm state so this way you can see I can take the action with the CloudWatch alarms so CloudWatch alarms helps you to take action based on the certain matrix whenever the matrix crosses the limit above or below what the way you can take the action over here and it's not only for the EC2 whether it's for the EBS or for the different kind of service you can take that CloudWatch action has a three kind of actions one is a notification we talk about second is the EC2 action third is the auto scaling auto scaling action we would see in the future when we start learning about the auto scaling apart from that in the CloudWatch you can set up a billing alarm too now billing is a very important aspect you came to the Amazon because you wanted to save certain money now if you can't save the money there is no use of that so how would you save some money with the Amazon or how do you get alerts with the Amazon that whenever you are crossing certain limit it should notify you and that's why Amazon provides the billing matrix now if you are a new to Amazon and first time using this you would see some different message here because it requires you have to enable billing notifications for that what you have to do is go to your name here on the top where my name would be you go to your my account section remember go to my account section and click on the preferences remember click on the preferences and select this option receive billing alerts receive billing alerts once you have enabled and you save the preference after that you would be able to get the billing alerts here so I can say I want to get the billing alerts for my estimated charges so what is my anticipated charges so let's go and make an alarm for that so I would go and say create alarm a total charges I want to get the alarm and I would say next when billing is more than one dollar because I am using a free usage tier so as soon as the billing crosses one dollar it should notify me so I would say when state is alarm notify me I can select directly this notification which I created or I can enter the new email ID too and then I say create alarm advantages now whenever the billing crosses the limit it would send an email to me right I hope everybody is clear with the concept of what the CloudWatch does is so in this session till now what we have covered is we have seen the launch the one or two instances we check the status of the instance we check how can we do the detailed monitoring section we went to the CloudWatch console we check what are the metrics we did certain alarm setting as well as we set the billing alerts Thank you.